at Grove City College, the way that we look at research is it's also a way to teach students and it prepares them for their future careers, whether it be graduate school or medical school. It's a way of looking at problems that haven't already been answered. Research is different from classes because it allows you to work more one-on-one -on -one with your research advisor. It also helps you because you get to learn how to work independently and to develop a good sense of self-discipline. In science especially, it's important because it helps you to stay on the cutting edge and learn about new discoveries and not just something that you're reading out of a textbook. My research has been focused on finding anti-cancer, anti-tumor agents, so we've done the synthesis of those in the lab and then we've used the x-ray defractometer to determine the crystal structures of those products. Through the synthesis we found derivatives of resveratrol and quercetin which are two proven anti-cancer anti-tumor agents. So those are the two that we based our synthesis off of. Research is important for undergrads because it gives them a real world experience with chemistry. We move away from the type of experience that they get in their teaching labs and we get into uh, real life problems where they succeed in things, they fail in things, and then they problem solve and troubleshoot on their own. In my research, I was able to do computational chemistry, which is a really cool blend of computer programming and software development, as well as exploring new chemical concepts and ideas from a theoretical perspective. So what I did was finding temporary anion states. And what that means is finding ways that a molecule could grab onto an electron and excite it into a new state that could lead to more reactions. What's difficult about research is when things don't work. We think of that as failure, but really that's how we progress in research. We take those paths that are unexpected and we can actually discover new things from them. So it's actually a positive experience even though it's challenging. Undergraduate research had a huge impact on my life and my career path. Because of the undergraduate research that I did, I was able to get an internship at Calgon Carbon for two summers, where I was able to continue doing computational chemistry. Um, because of this experience, I learned that it's a very viable career path and that I wanted to go to graduate school to continue pursuing this. By doing research over the summer, I was able to focus just on the research. It was nice being able to specifically focus a lot on the online side of it finding different procedures and allowing for a lot more procedural time in the lab. One of the most exciting things that I got to do as part of my undergraduate research was attend the American Chemical Society National Meeting in San Francisco. While I was there, I was able to prepare a poster beforehand and present it at the undergraduate poster session. So I spent a couple of hours talking to fellow undergraduates and other researchers about my work, answering their questions, and also learning about what they're doing. The most rewarding thing about directing students is really being able to come alongside them as a mentor and watch them become more independent as they learn how to problem solve and tackle these unknown things on their own. I like the fact that when you're doing research you don't know the answer and you are discovering something that nobody else in the world has ever seen before. And specifically with uh, extra crystallography, when we make a new compound we're the first individuals that ever see what that compound is going to look like. And that's fun to watch the students uh, discover something new and unexpected.